men that will fail to keep their watches, men that will fail to press into the realm. People accuse us and say, oh, we believe that what we are doing is the only thing that is correct. Huh? Now, why is it that we are not collaborating with other upcoming young ministers? Let me answer it today. We, we have seen them in the spirit. And what we saw about them in the spirit is not of God. I want to be on God's side. I'm not a politician that is trying to align with everybody. And when you hear someone always saying the body of Christ is not united, that uh, we fight ourselves, take some time and prove the life of that individual. He's burdened for ecumenism. is because he has a lifestyle that is not accepted. And so he's preaching you down so that you can create room for him. The way you relate with prophecies that are not conditional, uh, whose promises are not conditional, is different from the way you relate with prophecies that contain promises that are conditional. We as a nation have a prophecy. And we have something that we have placed before our face that gives us a sense of direction as the people of God in this nation. And the prophecies of which I speak were captured in the utterances of Pa Elton. Pa Elton um, revealed that the destiny of Nigeria is going to be in two major seasons. The first major season is the season of darkness that is, is um, identified by a regime of corruption. Um, I was privileged to see the graduates from Ahmad Bello University in 1979. And they told the experiences of how that when you graduate with a university degree, you're already a man that is established. Because the, in those days, the country was responsible and uh, it took responsibility for her workforce. So the moment you become a graduate, there is a change in your paradigm. Accommodation is no longer one of your prayer points. And the economy was solid. And so long-term plans could be made. The standard of living was very wonderful. And you would not have that level of standard of living if you were not in Nigeria. So if, if those days when people graduated, they were not hoping to move to the United States of America they were not hoping to move to the Great Britain because the conditions of service right here was so adequate that you could forecast a wonderful career life under the systems of service that were available in our uh, civil service layout. Unfortunately, the spirit of corruption just as it is contained in Pa Elton's prophecy, began to seep in gradually until Nigeria became the headquarters of corruption in the world. It means, are you with me? It means everything we do here is by corruption. And that's the meaning of that. Reality called corruption and the spirit of the occult. Christianity is dying in Nigeria. It will take Puritans, Puritans, to draw the dividing line for the next generation. I don't want my children to grow up and be under some people that I'm seeing. Let us make it clear what 
serving Jesus is. And through my speech and through my words, even though I may not be popular in some quarters, will be my witness. The reason why we preach like this is because we came into ministry at a strange time. Maybe in the time of the Mindahosa, they will say, God is willing, God is ready. In the time of Baba Lola, they will say, Oh, Jesus is he. our own time. We were born when the lamp went out. So it's the inner light that we use to navigate through darkness. Pautin spoke about a season of righteousness that was coming to salvage the land and that Nigeria will become the destination, the world destination for righteousness and for property and equity. We have arrived at that point where God is willing to orchestrate a transition. The only thing about this prophecy that I would like to bring to our notice, which we have neglected for so many years, is that this prophecy happens to be conditional. That means it requires our participation in order for it to come to pass. Just like the corruption aspect of the prophecy did not just happen by God's sovereignty. There were apostles of corruption that took advantage of the commonwealth of the land and it has brought us to this sorry state. And in the same way, there'll be apostles of righteousness that will pioneer a new culture in our nation that will afford us the opportunity to see the fulfillment of the righteousness era. The greatest warfare in Nigeria is about to be fought. The warfare that will occasion our transition from corruption into righteousness. And it happens to be that this mighty warfare, in order for you to be conscripted to fight this war, you must have the necessary certification. And in this case, the certification that I speak of is called PVC. The first announcement requires that each and every one of us will go and obtain our PVC. I had it in mind to come with mine today. Fortunately, when we were leaving the home, we were in a hurry. So I'm going to come with it tomorrow evening to show you evidence that I have been conscripted. I'm ready for the battle. Now, we are going to take enough time to educate each and every one of us about the battle that I'm speaking of. The battle is going to involve each and every one of us and we are going to be foot soldiers in the realization of the dream of God. Yes, each and every one of us, one month to election, two months to election, you will not be here mm, because of this battle. You have a critical assignment that when last did you when last did you visit your village? You are going back. God is about to save Nigeria. This is the season. He's about to save Nigeria because I saw Jesus. Jesus was returning to the church. And I was wondering, it doesn't mean you have not been with us. He said, What what you've been seeing are uh, uh, deposits of his former visit, but he's coming back to the church. He's coming back. I saw him. He actually came back. Meanwhile, the last time Jesus encountered me, he told me that he's going, but he will return. He told me that. Last time he appeared to me in my, in my sitting room, he said he will return. And I started seeing those signs in heaven. That is returning to the church oh do you realize do you know do you know that the greatest evangelists that will arise in our lifetime are still in the mobs watch out watch out the religion of the bond woman will die from inside inside you know how many calls entered my phone? If I had picked all of them, I'll be an unbeliever by it now. Sometimes you need to throw that phone away. Can you afford it? 
But I know most of you can't. Another God is in your and is a more and a shrine is in is on your hands. Be bold, be strong one day, off it, throw it away. Look for it after four days. May Lord help us. In Jesus' name. So are you there? But as it is written, I had not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Stay with me. What's the name given to something that eyes have not seen? Ears have not heard. Something that has never entered into the heart of man. Not by learning. Not, not by imagination. It's just beyond your scope. It cannot be the product of your creative thinking. There are such things, and those are mysteries. But they exist, but eyes have not seen it. But God has revealed such things that eyes have not seen, that ears have not heard, and have not occurred into the heart of man. He has revealed such things unto us, our entry point into the economy of mysteries, of sealed things, is the Spirit of God. So the question is, how much do you, do you know the Holy Ghost enough for Him to reveal something to you? What is the experience of a revelation like? The meaning of your life will come out of a disclosure that the Holy Spirit happens to be the only chapter personality that can unveil. <laughs> that is what I have for you for now, my great and wonderful viewers. We just well like you the kingdom boys of the entire Africa. I want you to follow me on my social media handles on Facebook, like, forward to my live entertainment. And don't forget to share this video. Let it go viral. Just ensure you share this video and give it a thumb up so that it will go viral. So that others too can come across the video. And if you are not subscribed yet to subscribe on this channel before, ensure you click the subscription button on your video screen. And don't forget to give me a picture of your like so that whenever we drop a new video in here time, YouTube will easily notify you. A big thanks to all our followers and all our subscribers. Guess what? See you in my next video. Ha 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 ha!